Oh my god, do not tell me it happened as stated. The US government treated cryptocurrencies rather amiably. I mean it gave Bitcoin as well as a green signal for a Ethereum ETF. God, we were mistaken though. Behind the scenes, the activities are quite dubious. But what's going on really? And how come we never heard of it? He won't find another video this exclusive anywhere else. So let's not waste a single moment of your time and go right to the point. Welcome to Dr. Crypto, your daily serving of Shiba. This is the spot for you if you're curious about anything related to Shiba. If you want to keep informed about all the latest news forecasts and stay ahead of the curve in the crypto industry, subscribe. To get more ship news, be sure to click the like button. Breaking today's news. Shiba Inus have suffered greatly, losing 84% in a very crucial statistic. The Shiba Inu community is perplexed about this abrupt decline since the whales or big holders seem to have disappeared virtually entirely. Confused and trying to find out what went wrong is the Shiba Inu army, but exactly what happened? Well, the United States Securities and Exchange Commission is indeed serious about the destruction of digital assets, claims Coinbase, a Bitcoin exchange. The crypto world has been rocked by this news. Many fans are concerned and unsure about the future since they worry about more rules and a harsher environment for cryptocurrencies. And here's something really crucial. Many are perplexed and wondering why this abrupt change of course. After all, the United States lately approved Bitcoin ETFs and more recently Ethereum ETFs. Just as people were preparing for a possible bull run, this unanticipated turn blinds them. Crypto aficionados who now find themselves wondering about the direction of the market clearly feel confused and frustrated. Wait though, what exactly happened? Allow me to clarify, then. One of the main Bitcoin exchanges, Coinbase, has sparked grave questions regarding the way the U.S. Securities and Exchange Commission handles crypto industry regulation. In a most recent submission to the United States, Coinbase claimed that Court of Appeals is continuously trying to compel the court to mandate the SEC to start implementing fair policies for the crypto sector. The SEC treats the damage of digital assets with great seriousness. Aiming to choke the crypto market, they think the SEC is set to stifle the sector by means of its regulating policy. And this is an absurd thing. Adoption of the crypto sector depends on fair rules for the sector. For companies as well as investors, clear rules give confidence and stability. Without them, the sector's potential for expansion is hampered and it stays in a continual state of uncertainty. Coinbase is vigorously advocating better regulations. Although there aren't many rules now, the SEC keeps hunting crypto businesses, which adds more complexity. Many cryptocurrency businesses are thus leaving the U.S. since they see no future there. And sadly, daily the situation seems to be getting worse. Coinbase is attempting to communicate with the SEC, but it seems as though the SEC does not want things clear-cut. According to Coinbase, asking the SEC for more explanations is a waste of time. Hence, the agency has more chance to explain itself is both useless and wonderfully unjustified. Indeed, the whole scenario seems somewhat illogical. One could argue that by allowing crypto ATS, the SEC is expressing approval. Every single day, meanwhile, we are seeing enormous money pouring into the crypto market. Underneath the surface, though, it seems they are actually seeking to tighten control and target the crypto sector. It's a perplexing inconsistency that simply doesn't add up. Ethically, it's as though the SEC is engaged in double play. Though their behavior points to otherwise, they seem to be open and accepting. Not to have doubts and mistrust of their intentions is difficult. To put it another way, consider if you had a friend who constantly told you they helped you pursue your dreams and goals, but covertly undermined your attempts every time you tried. It is perplexing, aggravating, and quite ridiculous. That's basically the situation involving the SEC and the crypto sector here. And this is only a tip of the iceberg. Particularly as the U.S. presidential contest draws near, the increasing conversation on the interaction between cryptocurrencies and the U.S. government is gathering momentum. Elections often highlight significant concerns that are of public interest. Regarding technology, finance, and regulation, candidates sometimes have different ideas and agendas. 
Given that cryptocurrencies sits at the nexus of all these spheres, they inevitably become a topic of interest during election seasons. People want to know candidates' positions on taxes, digital currency control, and innovation, as well as on other topics. Here is what we have right now. Trust me, it will bewilder you even more. Looking at the present U.S. president, here is something insane that has just happened. Under close examination of the Bitcoin sector, many feel the Biden government was softening its position, particularly following the approval of several Ethereum ETFs by the SEC. But lately, President Joe Biden did something quite unusual. You see, a legislative document called SAB 121 was meant to affect SEC regulations on cryptocurrency assets. Basically, it was recently approved by Congress and resolved an attempt to stop the SEC from imposing specific rules on cryptocurrencies. The crypto community got giddy when it passed Congress. It felt like a triumph, evidence that the government was headed towards policies benefiting crypto aficionados. The community celebrated, considering it as a step towards more favorable laws or maybe even a relaxation of constraints on cryptocurrencies. This was a moment of hope and optimism since many people thought that this fix would bring about good changes in the crypto scene. But lately, just yesterday, Biden vetoed the most recent resolution out of the blue. Biden's veto basically means he turned down the resolution meant to meddle with this SEC's crypto asset policies. The crypto community is quite angry about this action since many of them believe Biden has totally lost their support. Here is a quite basic overview of events. Imagine you and your buddies are setting off a road trip to your preferred location. For months you have been looking forward it, passionately talking about all the locations you will visit and the memories you will create along the road. At last, the trip day shows up. Everyone is packed and ready to go. The trip is going perfectly as you get on the road. You're laughing with friends, singing along to your preferred tunes, and savoring the beautiful vistas. Nothing could seem to lower your mood. Halfway through the journey, the driver then makes an abrupt decision to turn the car around and head back home. When SAB 121 passed Congress, that was how the crypto community felt. They seemed to be on this thrilling road towards better acceptance of cryptocurrencies and positive changes. Seeing development made delighted them and gave them hope for the future. But then President Biden's veto shocked and threw off their momentum, much as the unanticipated choice to turn the car around did. They were annoyed and disappointed since they felt as though they had to go back to square one after postponing their ideas. Of course, the thrill of the trip became disappointment, and they felt let down by the unexpected change. Biden's ruling did not go well among the crypto community. Speaking out, Skybridge Capital's Anthony Scaramucci said Biden's attitude on cryptocurrency might cause unanticipated issues. He wrote on X, Biden's stance on cryptocurrencies might cost him more than he understands. Especially at this crucial moment, the decision to veto that bill was quite poor. Donald Trump, on the other hand, sees this differently. He lately made it abundantly evident that his views on crypto differ from those of Biden. Trump said in a speech before the Libertarian National Convention, I will also halt Joe Biden's campaign to destroy crypto. We will halt it. I will make sure that, instead of being driven abroad, the USA will shape the future of cryptocurrencies and Bitcoin. Trump didn't stop there. Saying, I am very positive and open-minded to cryptocurrencies, he emphasized his support of Bitcoin businesses on Truth Social's social media platform money businesses and all aspects connected to this new and expanding sector. He underlined the need of the U.S. leading in this field since there is no second place. Trump also didn't hold back when disparaging Biden, labeling him as the worst president in American history and charging him of seeking crypto to fail. Trump said at last, that would never happen with me. Whatever the future holds, it is clear that the problem is major. With debates on regulations, policies, and possible presidential stances, crypto will continue to be a hot topic in the next months. This is a serious problem that will affect Shiba Inu among all cryptocurrencies. Whale sales dropped drastically today, most likely indicating growing investor anxiety. 84% is the decrease. But how do you view that? Comment down here. Reading your viewpoint would be much sought for.
The day is over now. Remember to give it a big thumbs up. To see our most recent material, share it and subscribe to the channel.